Ladies and gentlemen, this is the, one of the most amusing, hilarious stories that you're going to hear about. And I'm going to read you a Huffington Post article. I've been published in the Huffington Post well over, I would say, around 200 times, actually. You can go to hagoodman.com to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, The Daily Caller, other publications, The Times of Israel, other pub- Roanoke Times, and see my debates as well. To my new Patreons, thank you so very much. Florida officials reportedly stealing for a Trump extradition block by Governor Ron DeSantis. The hilarious... Really um, dramatic and absurd narrative is that Trump is on the run and they're going to go after him and he's trying to uh, hide or, you know, venture off into another country like he, he's this wanted fugitive. Trump is a wanted fugitive and he's, he's hiding out in the far off nation of Florida. Well, they don't have anything on Trump. If they indict him, he would he will not go to jail, that's for sure, or prison. He's never he hasn't committed crimes like almost certainly Clinton did with top secret intelligence on private servers. Anyone who doesn't acknowledge that that's a crime is either being ignorant or disingenuous or both. But Florida officials reportedly stealing for a Trump extradition block by Governor Ron DeSantis. Florida law would let the governor intervene if Manhattan DA Cy Vance Jr. seeks to extradite Trump after his investigation into possible banking and tax issues. Um, Why is the Southern District going after Trump? That's number one. The Southern District is an extension of the Democratic Party. They're all Democrats. This is not an objective, um, this, this is not some kind of exercise in, you know, impartial justice. This is a political stunt where the Southern District covers up potential crimes from Clinton and others, or Bill Clinton and others. There were There was one email within the campaign emails that talked about 500 conflicts of interest pertaining to their foundation. 500. And listed all the different conflicts of interest. Bill Clinton, Inc. Enriching himself through a philanthropic organization against the law. And then you have Biden's son. How can you use your influence on behalf of the company is one email. I give 10% to the big man. Who do you think the big man is? Then he lied on a form to get a a firearm. There are two standards of justice, and they they might indict Trump. I don't think they will, but they might. They probably probably will. Who knows? If they do, Trump is the Obi-Wan Kenobi of politics. Look, everyone knows they're going after him simply to stop him from running again. Trump is the living embodiment of their nightmare. He did he never had a presence in American politics. It took him less than a year to completely obliterate the Bush dynasty, Cheney dynasty and Romney dynasty. I mean a couple of years with Cheney. But he became president And that was a wake-up call to the establishment. Now, every element of U.S. society is an extension of the Democratic Party. Late night, Washington Post, New York Times, and good apoplectic liberals all throughout Southern California and New York City and all around the country. They've convinced themselves that, well, because the New York Times says, like, the New York Times, the Washington Post, MSNBC, and CNN, and pretty much almost every other publication, because because this public relations monstrosity appeals to their biases or um, bolsters all their pre-existing notions of what justice or truth or Trump or, you know, decency is all about, then they say, well, of course Peter Strzok was... 
If they even know, they say, well, of course Peter Strzok was objective, even though he was fired from the FBI. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. You have a top FBI counterintelligence official let go of the Mueller probe and then removed, kicked out of the FBI for anti-Trump text messages. And then you have Klein Smith, who has also anti-Trump text messages, who was indicted by Durham. This Durham probe is still going on, but here, Florida officials are preparing for possible interference from staunch Trump ally Ron DeSantis, the state Republican governor, if New York City attempts to extradite the former president, what do they plan on doing? Like putting him in Rikers Island? For what? What did this man do? I want to know what this man did. He did nothing. Trump did nothing wrong. He did not have servers. He did not sell his soul to foreign interests for money. He never needed money. He has, he's a billionaire. He never, you want to talk about Trump University? How about the Clinton Foundation? You want to compare Uranium One, 20% of, ura- uh, of U.S. uranium capacity? There's no comparison. You have to be completely ignorant to think that Trump it has more criminal um, like exposure or has done worse than name a number of Democrats, Clinton, Hunter. I mean, you could name a whole bunch. Uh, Bob Menendez, Anthony Weiner, Bill Clinton, uh, the Attorney General of, uh, of uh, Virginia. I mean, a whole, no, not the, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Not the, <laughs> the Lieutenant Governor, sorry, of Virginia, not the Attorney General. But here, we can go on forever. The Attorney General of New York, former Attorney General, Florida officials are preparing for possible interference. By, so Palm Beach County law enforcement officials are actively preparing for a possibility that Manhattan District Attorney Cy Vance Jr. could indict Trump while the former president is, is living in, at his Mar-a-Lago resort. So Vance's, high, Vance's office has been investigating whether Trump and his business have committed banking and tax fraud. They're not even the, They're not the IRS. Shouldn't that be the the purview or the jurisdiction of the IRS? The IRS had its tax returns for a long time, for years. Trump's tax records were finally turned over to Vance's office in February after a protracted legal battle. A key concern is that DeSantis could use Florida law to block extradition if charges are filed against Trump. Under state law, DeSantis could intervene and even investigate whether an indicted person ought to be surrendered Yeah, to law enforcement from another state. The wrinkle is that Trump is about to, uh, about to head it to his golf course in uh, in Bedminster, New Jersey, for the summer, and has already said goodbye to more local guests. New Jersey extradition law is similar to Florida's and gives the governor, oh, the governor <laughs> Phil Murphy, uh, but the state administration, uh, the state administration, Democratic governor Phil Murphy and residents are not expected to be quite so accommodating to Trump. So he should stay in Florida. <laughs> he should stay in Florida. Because DeSantis will go to bat for him. Look, they're going after Trump simply to hurt him and to harm him. That's how they do things. They've politicized everything. Nobody should trust the Democratic Party or Democrats who pretend to be these impartial uh, jurists or attor- like district attorneys who... like. They went after Trump. They've gone after Trump because they have nothing on him, but they need to investigate, and they don't care if they are they win. Like, if, if they indict President Trump, they don't care if they win the, the lawsuit or the criminal suit. They don't care if they win the case. Because months and months and years of accusations and hearsay and, and, and reporting and, oh, my God, they don't get it. They think that that'll knock Trump out of 2024. Are you kidding me? He's the Obi-Wan Kenobi of politics. This man will gain in stature because if Americans, by and large, even Democrats understand this, if American voters realized or understood or accepted that the legal system or the Department of Justice or the intelligence agencies or community was impartial, they would say, my God, Trump is a criminal. They, most people who are intelligent, who have some semblance or understanding of politics, 
understand that these agencies have been politicized. And they're going after their direct political rivals. Trump removed Americans from never-ending counterinsurgency conflicts. He reversed 18, 16 years of failed foreign policy. They want revenge. They want retribution. They want to knock him out. They don't want him back again because he's not business as usual. He'll engage in tariffs. Oh, my God, tariffs. Oh, no. In, in 10, 15, 20 years. In 20 years, for sure, we'll be the third rank. 20 or 30 years, by, by one estimate, will be the third ranked economy in the world. China and India will be far surpassed the United States of America. Now is the time to implement tariffs, not 20 years from now. And the TPP was horrendous in many ways. So, I mean, Trump's populist policies make sense. They make sense. And they led to a tremendous economy. Biden is tanking everything from the economy to the border to foreign relations to everything. This man is like, he doesn't stand for anything because he never really, like, <laughs> this is the establishment versus Trump. And it's always been the establishment versus Trump. If they try to go after him under false, uh, this pretext that somehow Within years and years of sifting through every tax filing, he did something wrong. And that, you know, you would need Deutsche Bank to be on board, which would be very bizarre because Deutsche Bank never alerted the authorities of any foul play. Why? Can you answer that, Democrats who think Trump is this monster? Why didn't Deutsche Bank alert the authorities? You're literally searching and fishing for something on Trump. When you have endless information pertaining to Biden, his son, and also Clinton, and others like Bob Menendez and a whole bunch of other people. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Trump should stay in Florida, in my view. He needs to stay in Florida. Give me your thoughts.